Good morning. Hello, everyone. Well, it's good morning where I am, but maybe it's afternoon or evening where you are. My name is Madeline, and I welcome you to join me for a short chanting meditation practice that can nourish and heal our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies. So each week I share a different mantra. And today I'm going to be focusing on a, uni a universal forgiveness mantra, like a forgiveness prayer, but it, it works on a very deep level because of the, the invocation and the intention that we set at the start of the meditation. So I'm going to guide you through this. So I'm live here on the Master Shah Dow Center, Sydney, Facebook page, and also on my personal Facebook page. And I also save all these videos to my YouTube as well. So you can come back anytime and do the practices more and more. So please say hello. I'm keeping my eye on the comments on the chat box. I'd love to know who's with me live. And, um, and also I'll respond to your comments if you're watching the replay as well. So this mantra meditation, we're going to actually make a soul power connection. And that is really the golden key. You know, my teacher, Master Shah, has taught the power of soul uh, in many, many books, in ways how you can heal and transform any aspect of your life. So with the forgiveness mantra and practice, the... The key is that this brings inner peace and joy because when we can truly embody forgiveness of ourselves and others, and I know it may not always be easy, but this is what can truly set us free. It can set our hearts free because when we're disturbed in our hearts, if we're holding on to any pain or struggle that's been caused in a relationship with someone else, uh, and this extends, obviously, all of our lifetimes, if that's what you believe in. But we can hold so much in our hearts. And if we're not making the choice or taking the action to let it go, it builds up, it festers. And it can actually affect not only our emotional well-being, but also our physical health and, oh, quite obviously, our relationships. This is very much connected to our relationship with ourself, our family members, and anyone in our life. So with this practice, we're actually going to, it's gonna be a universal practice. We're gonna connect on a soul level to all souls. And I just want you to know, I honor whatever your belief system is. I'm gonna talk about connecting to souls from all past lifetimes. But if you don't believe in, you know, you've lived past lifetimes, that's fine, I'm not, you know, trying to change your belief system in any way. So just tailor this to what you believe in and resonate with. I really want this to be all encompassing, inclusive for everyone, no matter what path you walk. So welcome, Judas. Thank you for saying hello. Good morning, Yota. Love you. Kiru, Julia, thank you for saying hi. I'm in a beautiful park today. <laughs> Thought I would do this outside. So I've got uh, lots of ducks and birds, lots of different types of birds all around me. Well, someone's doing a Tai Chi practice just over there. So, yeah, nice to be out in nature doing this. So I'm going to guide you through this now. Place one palm, actually, the hand mudra position we're going to do is left palm in front of your heart center. Hopefully you can see my left hand. So spiritual heart, the heart chakra. You want to bring the left hand in front and then your right hand in front of your left with your right fingertips pointing up. So this hand mudra is called the soul light era prayer position. And if you can, close your eyes. So it's a very powerful mudra connecting to your spiritual heart and also connecting to the soul world. So bring your focus into your heart space and feel that movement of your inhale breath expanding through your chest. 
And as you breathe out, feel your breath settle and ground down to the base of your torso. And do this a few more times, just observing, feeling into your breath, just helping your mind come into this connection. And I invite you to either out loud or silently, Speak out this beautiful forgiveness prayer along with me. Dear all of the souls that my ancestors and I have hurt or harmed or taken advantage of in all of my lifetimes, including this lifetime. I deeply apologize to all of you for all kinds of pain and suffering and mistakes that my ancestors and I have made that did not create love, peace and harmony. I deeply apologize for every time I created negativity on any level through the words that I spoke out, the thoughts that I had, the actions and the behaviors. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. And if there's any particular people in your life, like if you have any challenging relationships, you can actually speak directly to their soul. So I'm going to give you a few moments to do that. Maybe it's a family member, any kind of loved one, friend, work colleague, any kind of challenge in our relationships can be resolved. So you can connect to their soul and ask for their forgiveness. And forgiveness is always a two-way street. So continue to repeat along with me. And dear all of the souls that have ever hurt or harmed or taken advantage of my ancestors and I in all of our lifetimes, including this lifetime. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness to release you from any spiritual debt that exists between us. You do not owe me anything. My universal heart prayer to every single soul of creation, including all humanity, all inhabitants of this beautiful Mother Earth and beyond. My heart prayer is I love you. You love me. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony and all that have gathered have heard this beautiful forgiveness prayer this offering we invite you to sing to chant to meditate with us this is a universal forgiveness meditation may all souls be happy healthy and free so now place one palm or keep that palm against your heart center, the other palm down on your lower abdomen, just so you're more relaxed. And you're going to visualize golden light like the sun is sitting inside of your chest and radiating light out in all directions. And I'm going to sing the mantra. It's very simple. It's in English. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. So I'll sing a few times, and whenever you have the melody, please join me. 
I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. You can sing out loud or silently. What uh, is most powerful is that this comes from your heart. So really delve into that connection. Let this message, these words, this song come from the very core of your heart. Put all of your feeling into it. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. The golden light like the sun is shining inside of your heart center, throughout your chest, radiating out. Heart, touch heart. Soul, touch soul. The light of your heart and soul connecting to countless other souls that you have been in connection, a relationship with, transcending all space and time. Bring love, peace and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. And now for the last few minutes of our practice, I invite you to really get specific, work more deeply, maybe just with one person in your life that I'm sure there's, I think we all have people in our lives that the relationships are a little bit more challenging or we get triggered by them more, whether it's someone really close to us or someone from our past. So name them specifically, say, dear the soul of, and you can name this person that you would like to clear, <laughs> clear the, the negativity with. 
name them and say, I love you. I'm sincerely sorry for all the mistakes, anything negative that I have created in our relationship and connection in all of our lifetimes together. Please forgive me. I sincerely ask this from my heart and soul. And I sincerely offer you my most unconditional forgiveness. May we let the past go. May we let all the negative emotions, feelings, words, thoughts, actions towards each other that we're not loving. May we let this go. I love you. You love me. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. And really see this person there, there in front of you. They're a part of this practice with you. Clearing what needs to be cleared on this soul level. Because when we heal and transform on the soul level, the heart, the mind, our consciousness, and the, the physical nature of our existence follows. We'll sing a few more times in this union and connection with this soul that you've called in. I forgive you, you forgive me, bringing love, peace and harmony, bringing love, peace and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. This is an opportunity for you to open your heart to this person, to clear the way. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. Really feel it as you sing. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. One more time. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Bring love, peace and harmony. Breathing in more light into your heart. It's like a soothing balm. Bringing more peace and the letting go. The letting go of what has been stored in our hearts, maybe for a long time. Cluttering the heart. As we let it go, this is truly how we can know and feel and embody a deep sense of joy and freedom. So there's a, there's a way to close our practice because it went way beyond us. We called in many, many souls. We connected to the soul the vast soul world. So to, as a spiritual courtesy, we want to close and say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the souls that came 
to offer forgiveness to my ancestors and I and to receive forgiveness. Love you, love you all. Please now respectfully return to your abode. So there's so, so much um, spiritual wisdom, especially to do with spiritual courtesy that I've learnt from Master Shah. It's really exquisite wisdom. And uh, the, this forgiveness practice and mantra and prayer is one of, one of the first practices I learnt and it was, um, you know, probably about 12 years ago and it just moved my heart beyond, beyond, beyond anything I'd ever experienced to that day, you know. So I hope um, this experience, this practice served you well. And, you know, some, some of our relationships um, that are really, really challenging and you may not even be on speaking terms, um, continue to do this practice daily. It can be five minutes um, and you may be surprised what then can transform on the physical level, but sometimes it takes a little bit more work because we don't want to hold on to these grudges, these disturbances, these, this pain um, that maybe others have caused us, but you know, it's always both ways. If you believe that you've lived other lifetimes, whatever we're experiencing as suffering and challenges in our relationships in this lifetime has more or less come from the past. So let us, this is how we create more peace uh, for humanity, for Mother Earth, by doing practices like this. So I'm just going to check the comments and I also will share this week on Friday um, the Master Shah Dao Centre Sydney teachers so Lex, Carol and myself we're starting a new uh, universal forgiveness meditation class so it's going to be every Friday 1 till 2 p.m and I know that's during the work day for some of you lunch break though um, but there will be a recording if you can't join live this is going to be a weekly session. It's $15 or you can join for the month for $45. And we're going to go much deeper. And obviously it's a, it's a longer practice. It goes for an hour. And you're going to receive um, powerful Tao blessings from the special Tao calligraphy healing field um, to, in, to really go deeper and remove more of the blocks from our hearts. We can't change another person. We're not in control of anyone else. This is to transform our hearts. More joy, more peace. I know that's what I want. <laughs> and hopefully you do too. So I will, I'm going to share the link. And if you are someone who has not joined any of our classes at Master Shah Dao Center before, I have a special coupon code that will gift you your first class with us. So if you're interested, you can send me a private message or you can put in the comments here that you're interested and I will um, personally message you because I'd love you to experience this practice um, and for us to go deeper into it. It's immensely powerful and life transforming. So wishing, I've, so I've shared the link for the class in the chat box. Wishing you all a most beautiful rest of your day and evening. I'm very, very happy sitting in the park here. <laughs> wishing you all love, peace and harmony. And I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>